for that later, I think, because <laughs> that's pretty complicated. Uh, but, for example, if I want, uh, I'm learning French, so if I want Final Fantasy VII, I can go to any torrent site. Right now I'm on mininova.org, and uh, I search Final Fantasy VII French. And it'll bring me back results. Maybe not very much. Five seeds, 21 leechers, but uh, they're definitely available, and you can definitely download them. So try to search Star Ocean. I, w I was also able to find Saga Frontier in French. If you're trying to learn Japanese, oh my god, all the games are originally from Japan. All the role-playing games, usually. So you won't have any problem <laughs> finding games. Uh, before, I had made a, an, a learning languages online page. Jimmy.com, learning languages. And I have a ton of, uh, podcasts and stuff to where you can learn Russian, French, whatever. And not just, not just, uh, not just basic, there's sometimes it's like for business or for medical or whatever, uh, whatever you need. There's no, no end to the amount of podcasts you can download. Each one has like several hundred files on learning any particular language you want. Also, I wanted to show you guys this link, uh, the press display. Pressdisplay.com has tons and tons of newspapers in different languages that you can get. It's a really nice site. Uh, also, you can go to the Alexa top sites and see uh, by language, by country, I mean, and select, try to find what what uh, the people in the language you're trying to learn, um, what sites they visit most often. You can probably find some kind of chat room or interactive site so you can talk with them. Also, uh, MMORPGs like Second Life, I'm sure, uh, has uh, some kind of multilingual capability since it's sort of a global thing. Uh, I'm sure World of Warcraft and other sites uh, separate, have some kind of separation by language. Planeshift.it is in Italian, so you can search for different MMORPGs that have multilingual options. Just search, I don't know, MMORPG Espanol. <laughs> I played Dofus. It's a French-based MMORPG, and all the French servers are, have like, I don't know, 3,000 people all speak in French. I think the game has like a million players. So there's tons of French people. If you increase your, <laughs> if you increase your levels, they'll be very, very patient with you if they need you, the lower level people. So, definitely, MMORPGs are a great option for learning online. The problem is you won't get a whole lot of uh, listening context. You won't be able to pronounce well or whatever. Also, you can search uh, Spanish speaking dictionary or some kind of speaking dictionary so you can get your pronunciation, pronunciation or pronunciation straight. I recommend just translate.google.com and Babelfish as your main sources because they're really accurate and they know a lot of words. So you can have it side by side with your program. Also, I want to show you what, this is very, very optional, so you can stop the video here if you don't want to know about it. But what if I, I just want to double click the file and open it? What if I just want to double click the ROM file that dot ms SMC file and open it. I don't want to drag it to ZSNES each time. It's a very, very simple trick. Uh, it won't take long at all. I go to my computer. I go to Tools, Folder Options. I go to File Types. And I add a new file type and I call it SMC. I search SMC. I just type SMC on the list and it will bring me to where it is. And it says details for SMC extension. I already set the key, but you have to click change. And go ahead and it says open with. I want you to scroll down here and I want you to go to browse. And I want you to locate wherever the ZSNES file is on your desktop or wherever. I would suggest putting it in a more permanent location.
especially if you clean your desktop every now and now and again so just click OK 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 then close and now you can open a file just by double clicking on it it's pretty useful very quick uh, this is actually a fun game Secret of Mana 3 okay I believe that's it for my video tutorial if you have any questions be sure to ask me if you know games that have multilingual options uh, and could be useful for people that are trying to learn any type of language online please post them again if you have any questions or if you encounter any complications during this video tutorial uh, I might make a follow-up to whatever your question is with the video tutorial uh, if you can post video replies that'd be great too so thanks for listening to this tutorial this has been a tutorial by jimmyr.com thanks guys